Hello everyone, welcome back. This is going to be for Scorpio. Scorpio, we're going to get into the next 20, 24 hours. Okay, so if this does resonate, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. I'm already receiving messages that are flipping. Someone is moving very slowly towards telling you something here. Um, I feel like they are afraid because they really want to start over. I'm hearing delicate, like this is delicate. It's like, it's like I'm hearing like you just came from a situation with this person, like dealing with a situation with this person. And it's something like messages are coming or like you need answers for something they don't want to tell you. Ah, multiple situations. This is about other people. All right, so let's just see what we have for the next 24 hours, see what this is all about. Um, these are all general reads, not personal ones, Scorpio. So those of you who are new, um, just take what resonates and throw out the rest. If you want to donate to the channel, you can also click the button over here. I believe it's called the Super Thanks button. Um, you could donate that way or you could send it to me directly within the description box. I have all my addresses down there. And yeah, you guys, go ahead and flip the rolls if necessary. Energy is fluid and this might just show up in reverse as well. Cross watchers are also welcome. Make sure to click the like button, you guys. YouTube sees that you like the video. Push the videos through to a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. So let's just see what we have here. Angel Guides, Ancestors, thank you. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign for Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy here. Scorpio's. We have the Page of Swords. Oof, I'm just seeing a lot of different people with the Page of Swords. Um different discussions that are being had about the relationship, about the home, about the foundation. If this is a foundation that you are dealing with, meaning a job or something like that, there's just a lot of talk, whether or not you are a good fit or, you know, they're going to continue this. I just feel like there's some conflicts going on within your environment. So let's see. So you're finally at a place, Scorpios, that you know what this is all about. You know who is saying what. I feel like there's some things that was said in the Eight of Swords that really, you know, put you in a frame of just thinking low about yourself or just really going back within your thoughts and maybe feeling like this was your issue. This is you. This was because of you. I'm also seeing the sun energy in reverse as well. So... The sun energy in reverse, I'm just getting like unhappiness, a lot of sadness here, a lot of low vibration because you are drained. But I'm also seeing like you're going to be getting out of that with the eight of swords energy. It's like that was the energy that you were in for a long time, you know, feeling unvalued, feeling, feeling low, feeling like you have no self-esteem, no self-respect. Um, you just wanted to give up. You felt stuck like this was your life. Like nothing was going to change within this situation. And I'm seeing that you're going to get out of this. Um, stop holding up things for other people. This is what I'm being told. I'm seeing the Ten of Wands here. Like you're carrying this burden for someone. This could be someone that you have a lot of history with as well. Within the Ten of Wands energy. Then you have no apology or no emotional connection within this this energy that you're dealing with like whatever they're doing to you they feel like they don't don't care like like you deserve it or something <sighs> hmm i'm seeing leo as a major arcana for those of you who resonates with that okay the lovers gemini energy is also coming out here as major arcana I'm also seeing like you're being pulled because this is being like wanting to reunite with someone, but you are wanting to work this out. So if those of you are not at an energy where you want to work out your relationship, just know that this reading might not be for you. 
um because i'm seeing someone that is wanting to reunite with a person that they're you know have a lot of feelings with but there's just no like there's no window there's no window there's no it's like this person can't get in there's no new percep per, per, perception or direction or perspective to kind of like work with you within this situation it's like going into this you're feeling like you are going to be dealing with the same situation you're going to be handling this the same way and i'm seeing like you're you want a change it's like you want this to work because you truly love this person you you have a lot of passion towards this person or this situation um i'm seeing a lot of lies here so you have the eight of swords seven of swords i mean the eight of swords is ruled by gemini's the seven of swords is ruled by aquarius so there's a lot of ear qualities coming through and i'm seeing like the lies like you don't know about the lies you don't know it's like i'm just seeing like things are released like you're releasing or you're giving yourself a lot of the clarity like i'm not seeing like these people that are mocking you that are laughing at you that are involved with the seven of swords is telling you the truth you know what i mean it's like you are choosing to get yourself out of this you're choosing to see the truth you're choosing to get yourself back you're choosing to believe in your intuition i'm seeing like you're backing away from things you're taking a step back you are trying to heal you're trying to get to that place of um solitude peace this is what i'm seeing on your own maybe taking a trip on your own as well and that makes so much sense because your sun energy is in reverse and then i'm seeing the seven so again the seven of cups is coming up so this is about multiple energies and choices decisions it seems like this person was confused or going back and forth within their mind about who they want to be with and what direction they wanted to take um and now they made a decision to end some form of relationship I, I feel like this is multiple people though like they cut off multiple people here or they could just this could be you as well so tell me about the tower the tower is your energy scorpio the tower and you're also sharing that with aries so there's a lot of fire um a lot of pride happening here a lot of masculine energy so let's see we have walking away the eight of uh, cups which is ruled by pisces taking a step back i'm hearing paused energy i'm seeing a little bit of a ghosting situation walking away making a decision and walking away here leaving something behind tell me more but this doesn't really add up because i'm seeing this lovers here you have angel Raphael trying to put you guys back together for some reason there is a higher purpose here than what you can see i'm also seeing empty promises i'm seeing the the high priestess in reverse so you have cancer energy as well so your intuition is just off the chain it's like you're just not listening to yourself anymore you don't want this to end I, mean, I keep getting this situation like even the six of swords is in reverse like you don't want this to happen tell me more then you have the judgment aries libra you have the ten of cups you have the four of pentacles so the four of pentacles is coming up as a starting over kind of vibe it's like a final decision has been made to really invest in happiness fulfillment and really putting the time in but i feel like there's some kind of control with this energy as well because you don't want this to end you're not listening to the signs or your intuition you're all over the place you feel like you need to find out more even though this is being given to you as a gift like i feel like gabrielle is here where it's like giving you message messages 
or signs and Raphael could be doing this Raphael could be doing the same thing where um he's showing you signs you know seven 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 two 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 or just showing you to pay attention to certain things but this is also about forgiveness and healing um there is a, a energy that's also coming up if you guys are not speaking There is going to be a call. Tell me about this lover. There's going to be a reach now. Uh, I feel like this person is going to be at your door. Okay, you have two fives here. Five of pentacles, five of cups. Oh my God. So you're feeling like you're by yourself. You're feeling like you're trying to... It's, this is very hard for you to get over. You're having a hard time getting over this relationship. You're going through a lot of sorrows. You're going through a lot of mourning here. Um, a lot of sadness. A lot of disappointment. Okay? And you're trying to forgive yourself here. You feel like you have been used by this person, but you're not ready to walk away. Something about a third party, or this could just be very heart heartbroken or very severe. Tell me more. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Raphael definitely wants you to heal. I'm seeing his energy showing up. <laughs> Whoa, somebody is trying to block. Somebody's trying to block the energy here, of course. The Four of Cups. Cancer energy. It's like you're not seen within this. So this person is acting like they don't want to change or they're just like really comfortable with how things are. Despite that you are not comfortable with how things are, you feel bored, okay? I'm also seeing the Knight of Swords. So this person is very forceful. It's like, it's like what I say goes kind of vibe. Even though this is not what's comfortable for you, it's hard to deal with someone like this. They're very strong. All right, let's see. Because I'm seeing Cancer here. Aquarius. Yeah, there's a third party. I, I saw the two of cups earlier and I was like, because I was shuffling the cards and I was like, nah, if it comes out, it comes out. I'm not going to say it, but there's a confirmation. It seems like this person is with someone else and I don't feel like they're going to choose. And this is what's heartbreaking. It's like they're forcing you to accept what this is. Hmm. They're forcing you to accept what this is. Two of Swords. This is showing up as been doing this for a while. Very complicated situation. Some of you are in denial, need to make a decision and choosing not to. Choosing to say, I'm still waiting for something. I'm still waiting for the proof. Meantime, you have all of this proof here you know like the angel guides have already gave you what you needed so you know it's like you're waiting for this person to come and chase you and they will i'm just getting player vibes here player vibes uh, be careful of intimacy guys because i just feel like okay i'm seeing investment coming more and forgiveness, healing, closure. I feel like when this person comes back, and I'm going to say this in the most respectful way ever, um, you are just excited to see this person no matter what they're trying to do. It's like this, you don't want to be separated from this situation. It's like one of those things, if you're going to be with someone that cheats on you all the time, you might as well, if you're not going to leave them, just leave them in peace and, make, and, leave, and let them cheat then. You know, leave them in peace and let them cheat. Let them cheat in peace because this is basically something that you're going through. This person is with you. This person with the other person. You know it. They know it and you were worried at a certain point i'm just seeing like you're not ready you're not ready in the five of cups to walk away you're not ready in the four of cups to walk away even though this energy 
in Pisces and this is just an argument this is an argument you feel like you might have broken up here but it's not a permanent situation hmm all right um let me just see what what we got here okay I haven't gotten in their energy so let me know what this person wants to say to Scorpios Aries Libra Scorpio's energy what this person's thoughts towards Scorpio's Cancer what's this person's thoughts to Scorpio okay All right, the first thing is I'm tired of the silent treatment. I want to sit down and talk about this once and for all. So they want to try to resolve this situation. I'm just hearing frustration. This person has a lot of frustration here. Tell me more. All right, so it says here my finance are my finances are a mess. I have made bad decisions. I'm in the process of turning things around, okay? So, and I did pick that up as well within the Four of Pentacles. This person has spending issues. And I feel like when they do see you, you're, gonna, you're not going to have any idea because they have spending issues but, and they know they're not supposed to give you certain things but or spend, on, spend their money on certain things, but I just feel like this is how this person bury things as well because I'm, I'm picking up an energy of someone showing up at your door um, with flowers, with an expensive gifts, perhaps, like put everything down, like roll everything under the rug, um, trying to get your energy at a place where you, you're not going to be all mean and, you know, and demanding or aggressive. They're trying to really like smoothen things over. This is the only way they know how. It's not just with you, it's with other people too. All right, so it says, I don't know if my family was going to accept you. So obviously you have some issues with their family. And they knew that this was going to happen. What I'm hearing is like, you might be too good for their family. You might be too good for their family. And they knew it, like you're different. You're not the... the 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 kind of person that they usually go for you know i couldn't give to you like i wanted to because i'm still healing from my past and i feel like this person is talking about their childhood honestly it's like they don't know how to love they don't know how to love you to give to you to show you because they have no true experience about that because their family never really told them how to or showed them it was easier to lie than to tell you the truth. I wish I could take it all, take it all back, okay? So there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. <clears throat> Someone is living in regret here. Tell me about the sun. The sun energy the sun energy the star in reverse so basically scorpios you feel hopeless within this situation you feel like this is not going to work you really feel like this person is probably not the best option for you like you feel it but it's still sad and it's very still hard to let go of this i feel like you're devastated because you just know within your heart that this is not going to work tell me about the apology Mm, the ace of swords so this person the reason why they're not apologizing is because you're right the truth is going to come out even though they're trying to get they're trying to get away with the lies they're trying to get away with the deception that they have put into your life the betrayal they're trying to get away from everything but you see this is the holy spirit this is the divine power coming in to assist and whatever is hidden is going to come out so tell me more it's like they know that why even do it because the truth is going to come out regardless it's like they feel it within their heart tell me about the four of wands you feel like you're off track tell me about this four of wands the king of wands this person is very difficult they're blocked creatively you can't it's like this person can't see where you're coming from they're blocked 
You know, you're trying to make a new form of way and this person doesn't understand what you're trying to do. They think that you're crazy. They think that you're against them. They think that it's all about power because they feel like they have no power within the King of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. All right, you have, <laughs> I was afraid of this. This is not the right time for you to mellow with this person. You have the Five of Swords. This person and the Five of Swords, I mean, you got yourself out of this. This person has been putting like really all these swords within your mind, making you second guess yourself, making you think that it's you, it's always you, manipulating the truth as well, wearing this mask, this face mask, this fake mask around you all this time. And now you see this person for who they truly are. And I'm getting like this person is not going to change. Tell me more. Wow, look at that. The Ace of Cups. You're ready. You're ready. This is the Ace of Cups with the Five of Five of Swords. Eight of Swords. And I feel like you are so special. You are so beloved. And they have an issue with that. That's what I'm getting from that. They have an issue with your heart. Your heart is so big. Alright, tell me about this page of wands. Will there be a new perspective? Yes, they will, but in time, it's going to take time, it's going to take patience. I'm seeing success, success, but this is going to take time. Sometimes you have to walk away, for, walk away from something and let the situation heal for it to return. All right, so tell me about the Seven of Cups. Was this multiple people? Seven of Cups. Yes, I'm getting a yes here. This could be um, a community of people. This could be a uh, family. I'm getting the high for on Taurus energy. Someone that is empowered or in some kind of power. Someone that makes the decisions. Oh, yes, tell me more. Hmm. Angel, Raphael, and Gabriel is saying to take time to trust the process. So there's a uh, energy Scorpio where you are still in control. And I feel like we had this conversation yesterday about control and letting it go because you are a planner. And when you meet someone, you you automatically think about <laughs> right there and right then. If you can be with this person long term, if you can have children with this person, if you can marry this person, like you already picked out the future, like you're already thinking about the future vibes and this person is just in the moment, you know, but you're already like, uh, oh, is this person my type? Can I be seen with them? Can I take this person out to a party? Like, can I be dating this person? You know, like you're already looking in the future and the angels are just saying like to relax, to let go and let God to choose yourself and work on yourself and to heal right now um to let divine time and take control of the situation like it's there it, i feel like it's just it's like it's like it's like saying that just let go because no matter what you do you're just wasting time it's gonna end up the way it's need to end up like i'm seeing a second chance here like there's a possibility I'm seeing that second chance. Okay, like somebody's coming to your door, but they also have feelings for you. All right, tell me about this Ten of Cups. Is it is it okay? Is it bad? Is it good? This Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so this person feels bad about not giving you your dreams, your desires of your heart. I feel like, again, this person loves two people. I feel like I was getting this energy within another read today. And I'm seeing that again, like this person loves two people. High Priestess, what's going on here? All right, wow. The angels are saying you don't need to worry because your contract is victory. Um, you're going to be very successful. Tell me more. Focus on something else. Move forward within the Three of Cups. Overcome this situation. I'm also seeing you going out. Some of you might just be single for a while, okay? Or choosing to be single for a while. Oh, my Lord. 
Ooh, I feel like you're going to meet a, what is it, a Virgo? A lot of you might be dealing with a Virgo and you're like, hell to the no. Yeah, this seems like a Virgo energy or someone that is very like into schools, into books, and they read a lot. Um, and they brag about it too. And I think that's so annoying if you ask me, but, <laughs> um, you know. You know, I feel like this person is all about the home as well and taking care of, you know, their partner. This and I feel like that's something that you're going to be into because you are Scorpio. And the crazy thing is your match is usually, you know, earth tones. That's what they say. Not a cancer, you guys. Mm -mm. Scorpios and cancer loves differently. Yes, they're water based, but cancer is way too sensitive for Scorpio. Scorpio is a very talkative straight to the forward energy and a Scorpio will hurt uh, a Cancer energy. Cancers are crybabies, no shades to the game, but they're very sensitive. And then Scorpio can't be themselves. They have to watch their mouth and they have to like think about what they're saying before they say it. I mean, you should think about what you say before you say it if you're saying something that is not true or very hurtful. But if you're trying to tell, tell somebody like, look, you're wrong because this, this, and this, like that's fake. And then a cancer is going to make Scorpio feel like, oh my God, like you just are so cold when you say things like, oh my God, but it's, it's true. Like, <laughs> so it, it's like, I don't, I don't feel like that is what you need to be with Capricorn. Virgos are annoying too, but Virgos are more a chance that you might work it out. Um, Virgos have the same kind of tendency with Scorpios because they are right to the point too so the, you would have that in common and so does um taurus and capricorn but i feel like when they get mixed in with other elements like uh, taurus and libra rising that could be a little bit crazy because in their shell energy they give you this fakeness so in case say you are not friends with someone and they weren't friends with that person and then you know, suddenly they see that person, that person start talking to them. They're not loyal. Their loyalty is with you, but they don't know how to show it. So they will have conversations with that person. They will go to that person's parties and you are not talking to that person, and, you know, and, and it's like, hold on, we were friends and you weren't talking to them either. And here you are having dinner. Like, I don't understand like, that, that Libra energy. It just gives a little fakeness because Libras are all about, you know, trying to love everybody. And when you mix that with Taurus and Capricorn and Virgo, it, it tends to be a little bit fake, right? So, um, and that's the only thing I can't stand with that. But yeah, it's it's like I'm seeing Virgo here. I'm seeing you're going to a party. I'm seeing friends or family trying to. Yeah, you're going to meet. No, it's, it's friends. I feel like these are people that you're going to meet along the way with your businesses, with whatever you're trying to do. And you're going to meet this um, Virgo energy. I mean, it doesn't have to be a Virgo sun. This could be a Virgo moon. Hopefully, it's just a Virgo rising, okay? <laughs> so you don't have to deal with the talk, talk, talk. Every, you know, Virgos could let you talk. Virgos will talk for hours. I can't. I, I have to be like, look, I got an appointment. <laughs> they will talk for hours. Um, tell me about the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Ooh, another Virgo. Look at that. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo right now. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Virgo right now. And you don't want to leave this person. This is who you don't want to leave. You've been taking care of them. I'm also getting Aries and Libra, y'all. Okay? Aries is coming up twice. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. It's like you're working on this, though. Something that you're working on. You're trying to better the situation. That's why you're not you're not trying to leave this person. You're trying to better something. You're trying to work this out. <laughs> yep, Angel Michael, Leo. So Leo is coming up twice, you guys, as well. So you're trying to be calm. You're trying to be collective. You're trying to... <sighs> You know, not tame this beast, but you're trying to be, you know, you're trying to understand this person. 
this is what I'm seeing. You're not you're trying to find a new form of way to deal with this. You're not trying to control this person anymore. I feel like Angel Michael's like pushing you to do this, you know? With that strength energy. Tell me about this judgment. Wow. Taking a break. Making a deci decision to go into your solitude and take a break off oh, that. I keep doing that. And then you have the seven of wands in reverse. So it's like whatever control you're releasing this control. You're giving up on this control. You're choosing yourself here. Mm-hmm. That's the decision that you're making. You are trying to control like other people and everything and the outcome. But I'm seeing that you're giving up. This person, you're realizing that they're who they are and they're not going to sacrifice. What's on the back? The Ace of Wands. Something quick is going to come in in the future energy. There is some kind of addiction or some kind of childhood trauma that's going on that this person wants to resolve. This is what I'm seeing here within Capricorn. Capricorn is the devil. We just talked about Capricorn. And then we have the Three of Wands here. So we have a lot of fire energy around this situation. Someone is also wanting to come home. So for those of you who are dealing with separation within cancer, remember we talked about cancer too. There's a lot of emotion, emotional situations going on here. And I'm seeing like this person is trying to get out of whatever they got going on. This could be a third party or something that hasn't worked out because it's like they are it's like I, I i get the threes you guys and i just be getting the back and forth energies with the threes okay so it's like this person left you to go somewhere okay an opportunity they took an opportunity the opportunity didn't work out here they come back again it's like they're looking in the bay looking to see how they can do this but how they can return how they can come home but it's been so long so you're dealing with someone that you've been separated from for a very long time. This is what I'm getting. <laughs> so, I mean, I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. All the information is down below. You can, you know, donate to the message. If you want to do that, you can send it to me directly. If you want to support, um, like the video, you guys, um, keep those likes up because when you do like your videos, like I always say, YouTube sees it, push the videos through to a bigger audience so the video can grow, so your channel can grow. Um, so do that to all your YouTubers, okay? Um, keep them wanting to continue to make videos, all right? Um, we'd love to see that feedback that you're still there, okay? And yeah, so yeah, all if you want a first day reading, I do have that available. Classes are also available. Classes are going to be held on Saturdays. Um, first day readings are for first day unless you send your payment at 8 p.m. Of course, you're going to get the reading the next day, okay? Um, and that's the only way I'm doing personals. I only do personals on Saturday because I, I work, you guys. So, and then I my classes are held on Saturdays, okay? So, for tarot classes, if you guys are interested, all that information will be in the description. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.